boom, we're back. And it looks almost the exact same as yesterday's video, but there's a little bit of a different thing. If you can spot it, let me know down in the comment box below. Today, we have the second gifted beer from one of my best friends, Douglas. Douglas, thank you for the beer. Today's, though, is a different color and a different fruit. So let's dive in, shall we? Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Mate Brewski, from the Rooski Brewski Review. And today, the beer that I have for you guys is by the Old Flame Brewing Company up in Port... Port what? Port Perry, Ontario. But I think they have a location in Newmarket where Douglas picked these up for me. Today, we have their Lime Lager. We did the blueberry yesterday, and yeah, that's the difference. If the title and the thumbnail and the color of the can didn't tell you otherwise. Green can, same look. Except now there, there, there's lime slices rather than blueberries. Again, 5% alcohol is by volume. No listed I've used on the can or the website or untapped. So without further ado, crack this bad boy open and see what we got. Lime lagers have been being done for a while. I think the first one that I had was Bud Light Lime and... A lot of people are going to hate on me for it, but I still enjoy Bud Light Lime. Though Corona with a lime is is, is, is a lot better. And Freya, Freya, I forget what it's called. The the Amsterdam Cerveza with the lime is, 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 is better. And that actually has real lime zest in it. This one's probably juice or puree. But yes, Soda City pint to pint glass. Let's pour this bad boy up. Let's see what we got. No fancy color on this one, just a nice golden, pale gold, uh, pale, pale gold, yeah, pale gold color. A little bit of haze to it. Did not expect that, that slight haze to the beer, but it's much, much appreciated. White head on top, looking pretty, diving on the nose. Now I have to say this may be one of the most limey beers I've ever had. Limey sounds like a terrible word but I'm getting absolutely fresh lime juice out of this aroma. Already between this and the blueberry, this one's winning in the aroma department. Also the look department, just because of that haze. I don't know why it just looks a lot better. Blueberry obviously has that reddish, ruby, rose sort of tinge, depending I guess how much is used. But this smells a hell of a lot better than that blueberry lager. Let's dive in. Heavy, heavy on the lime, holy, heavy on the lime indeed. Is it too much lime? I would say almost, almost too much lime. For me with beers, the, the, the Bud Light Lime, obviously we've all had that, I wanna say. I think, I think Lake of Bays did a lime lager once. Muskoka's done something with lime. A lot of people have done stuff with lime before. The uh, the the Frigia, or I forget what it's called, uh, from Amsterdam. They have lime zest in there. Cerveza. Uh, a few, definitely a good number of brews have done lime. I don't think I've come across a beer with this much lime in a lager. Again, I'm trying to think if this is too much lime or the right amount, but I think it's I think it's in between almost too much and just above the right amount. Maybe a few levels above the right amount. But not bad. Cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. And cheers to you, Douglas. Thank you for the beer. Yeah. I'm gonna reformat my previous statement and say I think this is too much lime that needs to be in a lager. For me, definitely. Um, you could use this beer in a cocktail, though. If you were making like a like a beer infused, say, margarita, I could see this being a pretty good base. Like you, 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 you got this. You throw a bit of tequila in there. You throw a bit of triple sec in there. I think you might have something 
that could flip the margarita game on its head and just spruce it up a little bit if you, if you want to use a beer base rather than a, uh, like a margarita lime mix. One, because you already got some carbonation there. Carbonation seems to make everything better. And two, the lime in here is very fresh. It doesn't taste like a cleaning product like some of the margarita mixes do. It's not overly sweet either. I think this could be a really good base for some homemade margaritas. If you just want a quick base, um, like lime base. I think this has a place in the in, in the beer market for the, for the summer season but I don't think it's it's to just enjoy on its own that's my opinion personally again you can share your own down in the comment boxes below and whatnot but I think I'm gonna pick some of these up and do a little bit of experimentation you may see it you may not if you want to see me make margaritas with uh, Old Flames Lime Lager, let me know, because I will do it, and I'm going to do it, and I might just make a video if you say yes or no. Overall, interesting stuff. I see high potential for this beer used in margaritas. That's what I'm saying, and Douglas, if you're watching, and you want to try a margarita with this beer, I'd say go for it, because the, the, there's not a huge beer flavor to it. It's definitely more lime forward, fresh lime juice forward with a light bready note that doesn't even really shine. I'm just saying that because you get a little bit, but you really don't. It's like an extra limey lime lager. That's what it is. Let's see what the can has to say. Old Flame Lime Lager, 5% ABV, bright green can, lime green can, as fitting. Uh, Port Perry Proud, uh, brewed by Old Flame Brewing Co., Port Perry, Ontario. Ingredients used are malted barley, water, yeast, lime juice, concentrate. So it's not a puree, it's concentrate. On the bottom, packaged on uh, the 18th of May, 2021. So a little fresher. Actually, about, yeah, about half a month fresher or so, a little over that, uh, than the blueberry lager, but damn, 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 pretty cool. On the website, oldflamebrewingco.ca, you go to the shop page, or you go to the beer page, and under seasonals, you will find the lime lager. Same exact price, if you saw the blueberry, you already know the price. I'm gonna tell you that in just a hot minute. Not a lot of information here, really, but we do get a description which reads. Lager and Lime has been on tap at the brewery since we opened. And we love to can this draft, favorite for folks who enjoy, to enjoy at home. Blonde lager with a hint of lime, refreshing the warm weather brew. I'm going to have one problem with that statement, and it's the word hint. It is not a hint of lime. Bud Light Lime is a hint of lime. This For me, is live with a hint of beer. I've said it, I'm still enjoying the beer, and I know exactly what I want to do with this beer, and I've said it multiple times before in this review. Make margaritas. A beer garita. There we go. Trademark done. No awards and pairings, no flavor profile information to speak of, even though it's there. We'll do with the price, we're gonna get to that in just a hot minute, but on tap, lime lager, so we're giving it a five, whoa, whoa, haven't given it a five. It's been given a 3.58 bottle caps out of five. So that's out of 88 ratings. As for the price, since I've been talking about it and, you know, dilly-dallying around it, it's 2.89 before tax, but with tax, it's about 3.27. Just like the, uh, just like the blueberry lager, again, eh. I'm not a fan of that price for a short can, but I get it as it being a seasonal, justifiable, and if you can use these in margaritas or beer garitas, it becomes like a dual purpose brew. Overall, not bad. Not bad, not great. If you don't like lime, stay away from this beer. Um, 
if you like beers with a just a hint of lime, uh, this beer won't be for you, I don't think. Uh, this is definitely more lime forward and heavy and intense um, than, 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 than I think one would think. I should have maybe taken that inkling in when I saw the, 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 the bit of haze to this beer, the color of it. Because um, I've never seen, seen a lime lager this hazy. And I'm not saying it's hazy. It's not hazy crazy by any means. But it's got enough to make you think, stop and think and be like, hmm. There's a lot of extra liminess going on in this beer. It's a good beer. But I just think, um, for me personally, I would use this in a, in, in, in a beer garita. Yeah. Yeah. Overall, not bad. I like how I already know a use for it. Um, and it's, it, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a solid offering, I gotta say. Cheers in the final sip, guys. Let's get ready to rings and wrap this thing up. Old Flame, Lime Lager. Clean, crisp, delicious beer. Tons of lime, a lot more than I ever, ever expected. Um, but like I've been saying, using, using this as a substitute instead of margarita mix, because those can taste chemically yet, you know, at times. This I think would be a really cool substitute and just like a nice twist on a classic cocktail. Overall though, not terrible, not overly amazing, but a solid, solid fruited lager that I think uh, can get the job done on a hot ass day. I gotta say that, on a hot ass day, this is gonna be extremely refreshing and, 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 and just a solid uh, treat to grab from your fridge or the cooler. Overall, Lime Lager, Old Flame, gets a solid, gets a solid 7-2 out of 10 for me. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, you can leave all the information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mate Bruski, it would be greatly appreciated as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Mate Bruski, and I can always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Oh, I found a new beer to make a cocktail with. Ooh, 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 summer. Here we come. Cheers.